For this video, I'm going to demonstrate some adaptive ideas for the skills for playing tennis, as well as some adaptive ideas for playing tennis itself in uh, physical education class. So for um, students who are walker users, you can have them practice serving by bringing their walker up to a specific area and having even just a box to practice the skill and the target practice. Um, you can use a regular tennis racket and a regular tennis ball if the student is able to use those. Um, I also have various other balls such as a um, larger lighter ball, a balloon, a badminton racket, and a birdie um, for similar skills during badminton. So if the student is able and they have control and good balance during activities, good standing balance, have them hold the racket in one hand, hold the ball in the other hand, and then for safety reasons, have a paraprofessional or the gym teacher if able to stand next to the student and then instruct them to serve the ball underhand into the box. Here's the same example, just with a larger ball and still the tennis racket. If the larger ball is still too difficult, you can also use a balloon. I still have the tennis racket here. And then just practice serving it at the target. Another variation would be to use a badminton racket and a birdie, um, both lighter. That way it will be easier to control and then practice hitting them at the target. If the birdie is too difficult to control, too difficult to properly drop and hit, you can also use a paper ball. And if the paper ball is too small and the tennis racket is too heavy, you can also use the badminton racket with a balloon. These skills can be done in sitting as well. So if the student is able to still use a walker, but does not have the coordination or the balance appropriate for doing a skill like this, they can always lower their seat down if their walker has a seat. And then again, be given whichever uh, device, either the tennis racket or badminton racket, the tennis ball, paper ball, the larger different color, brightly colored ball, or the balloon, and then go through the same progressions. They can sit down, be given the equipment, and practice serving that way. Here we are again with a different colored and larger ball, still using the tennis racket. And then using the paper ball and the badminton racket. For students who use wheelchairs, all the same seated adaptations and modifications still apply for those who were using a walker. So uh, the difference is if the student who's in a wheelchair does not have as good of upper extremity control and they are unable to actually serve the ball or practice serving skills and hit the ball a good distance to a target, they can still practice control and they can simply have hold the racket in one hand and place the ball on the racket or another student or another adult can place the ball on the racket for them. And then they can simply just make sure, you know, before letting the ball fall off, they can control it into the basket by either flipping it or tossing it up in the air and letting it drop like so. So they could either just have them flip it or toss it up and have it land in the basket. Again, I have here the rest of the equipment. So if the tennis racket is still too heavy um, or too large, you can always use a badminton racket. I still have a tennis ball here just for a larger 
object to visualize. And then again, just controlling it, and flipping it and dropping it, or controlling it, tossing it up, and letting it fall in. And even the balloon, if the larger ball is too heavy and rolls around too much on the racket, you can just hold the balloon here and just let it fall into the box. Okay, another skill is being able to hit a ball that is moving. So what I have here is I have this PVC structure again. That way a student can practice hitting the ball and having it come right back to them. Um, for this demonstration, I have a balloon tied to it. You can also put a drawstring bag attached to this or anything else that can be tied up and above the student so they can come and hit it, have it come back and hit it again. Um, and in that drawstring bag, you know, you could put uh, tennis balls, um, larger, brighter colored balls so they're easier to see, um, things of that nature. So here again, I have my walker. So this can either be seat down like it is now or seat up, depending on um, the balance and control the student has. For this purpose, I'm going to have it sit uh, the seat down and I'm going to sit down. That way it's easier to see. And then have them sit. And currently I have a tennis racket. Other modifications are to have a noodle or a badminton racket. Um, again, for that purpose, the badminton racket is obviously lighter. And then the noodle is also lighter, but it's also wider, so it could be easier to grip and hold on to for the students if they don't have a strong grasp. So then we'll just have the student come and sit down. Simply just hit the balloon. The balloon is also a good starting point if you don't know the student's skill because it's going to allow a longer time for them to react to hitting it as it comes back to them since it's not as heavy and it can just float back to where it came from. So now here I have the badminton racket. Again, a lot lighter than the tennis racket. So here we go again. We can just give it, have the student uh, bring it with them or give it to them once they are settled in the chair and then just have them hit it again. There the two rackets are too heavy um, or too hard to control for the students. There's also another modifiable racket you can use. So here I just have popsicle sticks and a paper plate. Um, and again, this will be best with the balloon, especially so the paper plate racket does not break. The other benefit is that the surface of the paper plate is a lot larger than the racket, um, especially the badminton racket, and it's larger than the noodle too, so it would be easier to hit the balloon. And then lastly, I have the pool noodle. And again, this is for, this is a lot lighter and it's for the students who may not have a good control over grip. This way, this wider object will be easier to handle for them. And again, they can come and sit down and then just hit the balloon. With the pool noodle, a balloon or a larger ball in that drawstring bag would be easier just because of how um, narrow the hitting surface is compared to either of the rackets. And again, just like the student who required to sit down using their walker, same modifications go for the student who requires a wheelchair. They can still participate in this activity and learning the skills of hitting um, a tennis ball, or in this case, the balloon coming back at them. Um, the only thing is just make sure if the structure is not wide enough to just swing away the leg rest so that way they don't interfere with the bars at the bottom. Make sure their wheels are locked once they approach 
a good position to then hit the ball. And then just make sure their safety belt is fastened if they have one. Provide them with a uh, racket or the badminton racket, the paper plate with the popsicle sticks or the pool noodle if they are able to carry it in their lap. And then just allow them to continuously hit the balloon. Now I'm going to demonstrate some modifications to playing tennis itself. So as you can see here, um, for display purposes and being able to be seen on the video, I have a pool noodle as my net. Um, to be able to make this larger, you can always use a, a rope and string a rope between the two seats. Um, you can also, if you have one, use a bed sheet. Um, that way, if it were to go underneath um, the top of the bed sheet, it would be blocked, just like in a real tennis net. So what you're going to do here for wheelchair users um, with appropriate trunk control and upper extremity control, you can have them, you know, get into the proper position on either side of the net and then provide them with the racket and the tennis ball that or any other ball of their choosing for their skill set. So it can be a paper ball or a balloon or even for a change in racket, they can use the badminton racket or the paper plate. Just if they're using the paper plate, the paper ball or the balloon would work best. Um, and then just having another student on the other side of them um, playing on the floor seated would be a fair level of competition. So just allow the student to take the ball and the racket and then serve underhand over that. Again, as always, safety is important. So making sure the wheels are locked and making sure that their uh, safety belt, their lap belt is fastened. That way, um, for those that do have good trunk control, do not sway too far. And those that have limited trunk control are able to be uh, stabilized in their chair.